Hi everyone, this is me, Andy Liberty, Product Manager for our registration sensors. And I wanted to go through a basic tutorial of how to teach and work with the CSS high resolution color sensor. So what I have for this demo is I do have a color target card where we have a number of different colors to, to uh, teach our sensor on, as well as on the back. We've got um, some colors that are very, very close in uh, shade as well as a textured color or a textured pattern I should say like this this wood grain here so the the three things that we're going to go through today I am going to show you how to do a single point teach on just a singular color uh, take a look at the the color matching and be able to adjust some of the sensitivity and then we also will go through a multi-value teach using the wood grain pattern so first things first Let's do the single color. <clears throat> I have a version of the CSS that does have a measuring range from 50 millimeters to 500 millimeters. So it's great because it, it does give you a lot more uh, mounting flexibility versus some others that do require the sensor to be quite close to the, the target uh, object. Um, so yeah, well let's, let's train this color sensor on this purple target right here. Let me get the light spot on there. So what we will do is we are going to go in and do a single point teach. So right on the button, I'm going to hit set to do a teach in. I would like to teach the first output. There are, um, you can, uh, using the display, you can teach two outputs. Uh, for the IOLink version, you actually can teach up to 24 different outputs through IOLink. We're just going to use Q, Q1 here. So I'm going to get that to set. And for this case, we are going to do a single value teach. So to get that going, I am just going to hit set. And the teach is OK. So on the display itself, the number on this side gives you its uh, color match. So I have moved the target a little bit off. And you can see that the color match is, is changing just slightly. And so um, it does have, in the sensor itself, it does have a certain sensitivity level that you can accept. Um, you know, it has to be a, a really, really close color match like we have here. Uh, and if it drops below, like say this particular shade is just, we want it to be this. And even though this is close, this is not something that we want. This is does not meet the, the, the color target that we, we have. You could set it up to, to not accept that value and only accept the one that you taught in. But if you're looking for a target where, you know, it's like if it's close enough, I want it to be one of these two purples, but nothing else. Uh, you can then take a look at the sensitivity value. So you can see here uh, for the, the color that we actually taught, it is in the 900s, depending on, you know, how much the light spot kind of bleeds off the, the edges there. And then the one right below it that's quite close is right around the 800-ish mark. So what we can do is we can adjust that sensitivity in the settings. So we'll do that for that version that we just taught in. The current sensitivity is it needs a color match of 900. I'm going to drop that down now. Let's drop it down to 800. Okay, so we got it down to about 800. Set it right there. All right, so now you can see that we're on that, that other target and the output is still active. So we now have it active for both of these. But once it gets uh, below that threshold that we sent, it is no longer active. So you can adjust just how much you would like to be captured in the teach versus not. And then we can also take a look at some of the other colors that might be close, like this blue, uh, maybe the greens or the reds. Yeah, and nothing else is captured within that color match and that sensitivity. The other nice thing about this display, as you probably already have noticed, you can see a live view of the colors that it is already seeing. So that was a single point teach. Uh, another really great feature, again, about this product is the pattern recognition. 
Um, so sometimes with color sensors, you want to either take a look at making sure that you're getting a particular wood type or some other type of product that might have a little bit of a pattern into it. And you, you still want to be able to detect this particular target with that pattern. You don't want, as you're moving along, you can kind of see on the display, there are just slight different shades here. And you don't want your out to be, to be flickering for this. So what was perfect for this is a multi-value teach. So how you do that is we're going to go into the teaching. Uh, let's actually just overwrite that first output. And then we are going to go back to that multi-value teach. And then once you hit set, all you have to do is move it around that particular pattern so that it can get a good idea of the different colors and things that are in this wood grain. That is good, so we'll get that set. All right, now you can see that the output is on for the entire grain that we've taught, and then as soon as it gets off, nothing else, and back on for the wood grain. There's a lot of other things that the sensor could do, but this was just a very quick high-level overview of the CSS high resolution.